Perfect. Here we go. Rock and roll, everybody. Your daily jump start. And uh, Michael Gavin, tuning up hearts and minds one at a time so your ideas don't die in your hearts, heads, and hard drives. Um, I think there are far too many people on this earth who are extremely talented, have put a lot of time, energy, and effort into building their skills, uh, but they're afraid to share them. They're afraid to put them out in the world. They're afraid of what people will think. They're even afraid of success. That might be a topic we'll talk about here soon. Everybody's fearing failure, but you don't feel failure. We fail all the time. We make mistakes all the time. We're professionals at making mistakes. We're professionals at failing. It's the succeeding part that scares us. What's going to happen if we change this? Will we lose a friend? Will we bop, 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 bop? So today's simple tip for your daily jumpstart to take the pressure off these goals, dreams, and aspirations, not just in general, doing them and taking the actions, but simply the fact that you do do them at all and that you think that they're possible. See, what I see is, is so many times there is a pressure that's put on because of the speed and urgency that we need or we think we need to achieve something or that we want to achieve something. The problem is, is as I said in one of my previous uh, jump starts, is that there's a disconnect between what we're saying and what we're believing. And so you join the 30-day the you know, challenge, you know, make 10K in 10 days or whatever. And the fact is, is that if you've done these things and you have not achieved the result in the given time, most people, that is disempowering rather than empowering. So what happens is you slowly but surely go, yeah, can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. And so if you don't believe you can do something, what kind of actions are you going to take towards it? If you really don't think, oh, I already tried that, that didn't work. I already did that. That's not going to happen. Uh, people told me I can't do that. They were right. right. The more that you have that, then the less likely you are to achieve anything that may be a dream so that it doesn't die inside hard heads and hard drives. right? Um, so here's what I've done. And this has been a simple exercise to take on just about anything. It could be quitting your job. It could be transitioning in your company to a different type of clientele. It could be transitioning careers entirely. It could be making a certain amount of money. And here's what I've done. We'll use money. Everybody wants to make more money overall. Simple, simple thing. And I want you to think about this. You can leave a comment wherever you're at. I am going to not know what anybody's making right now. So I'm going to throw out something. The vast majority of people probably following me are not bringing in from their business or even if they're employed right now. And that's $500,000. Because some of you, if I said 30 grand, I mean, I'd be a lot of you already making that. Here's what you do. Do you think from where you're at right now, this second today, do you think in three weeks you could earn an extra $500,000 that you could go from where you're at, wherever that is, $30,000. You think you could have your business from now to three weeks from now, do $470,000. Absolute certainty that that is possible. An absolute 100% without a shadow of a doubt. Not a maybe, possibly, eh, but an absolute yes, boom. These are all gut answers, right? Okay, so three weeks. From 30 grand, we'll just say, to 500, 470,000 more. And you do wherever that is for you. But 500 grand's our number. Do you think, and remember, gut answer, gut answer. Do you think you could do that in three months? Do you think you could do that in a year? Do you think you could do that in three years? Now, what we're looking for here is you got to check yourself. Now, it's great when I do this in person with people because you can see their body language, you can see their face, you can see how long they, they take to answer because it's gut answer. We're looking for gut answer and we're wanting to go from, and I've seen this multiple times, People go from, nope, I can't do that. That's impossible to, yeah, probably. And we keep going until, yeah, yeah, I could do that, right? That's what you want. So we said three months, three, three weeks, three months, a year, three years. How about five years? Do you think you could earn $500,000 in revenue in one year, but in five years? Could you get to a place where that is what you get to? Not can you earn 500,000 over the next five years, right? But could you get to that in a, in a year's time, right? Like where that's what you're doing in a 12-month cycle. 
How many years would it take where that becomes your default? That becomes your normal. And so I'm going to give you a little story here really quick in regards to that. So I just want you to sit with that. Where, where is that for you? Whatever it is and do that. It, it's fun if you could describe it to somebody else or you do it with somebody else and you see them, right? You just keep asking. You think you could earn, do it with your, do it with your wife right now, right? You get, honey, do you think we could do 500,000 in the next three weeks, three months, year, two years, three years, and do it until you see that, boom, yeah, we could do that. Like, could we, we're going to start a brand new business in the next three weeks. Do you think we could do 500,000 in the next three weeks? Like after that, three weeks after that, right? Are you kidding me? Right now, some people are like, are you kidding me? I three, you know, 500,000 in three weeks. I mean, I think Amazon just earned that in the last 50 seconds that I've been talking. Right. So it's all relative. Everything is always relative. Right. Our problems are relative. You know, if you took uh, a temperature and you, you went and cycled up, you know, if you went on something like Mars to Earth or the sun to Earth, right? All of a sudden it could be a hundred. If I said it was 130, 150 degrees here on earth, you'd be like, that's really hot. But then if it was relative to the sun, it'd be really, really, really cold. Right. And so here's a story around money in regards to me. Some of you have heard my story. I won't share it in the daily jumpstart right now, but essentially around 2016, I almost went bankrupt. I was, you know, really great at making money. I said, I was a pro at making money, but not at keeping money. I was really spinning a lot. And some people have asked me, what would you tell your younger self? And you see that all the time. And I used to say all these things. I teach all these things now, but I say, I wouldn't say anything because if I changed anything, it would change everything. So I am grateful for who I am today and where I am today and all the things that I've been through, although some were difficult, some were hard, some were challenging, some were less than ideal. They have made me the person I am today. And if I went back in time and told myself to do X, Y, Z and change this and don't do that, I wouldn't be here who I am today, and neither would you. So I count my blessings, and I look forward. But here's the thing. 2016, I almost went bankrupt, had about $150,000 in debt, and I didn't know what to do. And I didn't have much money in my bank account, actually. Again, uh, doing really well from a standpoint of all these things I had achieved, but I spent so much money. I just kept accumulating credit card debt. Um, then I made some choices. We're not going to get into that. But ultimately, around the time I was 30, which was around this time, 2016, I said, by the time I'm 40, I'm going to not owe anybody any money, and I'm going to have a million dollars saved in the bank. I mean, I wasn't thinking of investments. It was just simply, I'm going to have a million dollars in the bank, and I'm not going to owe anybody any money. I was at 30. I'm now 35 years old. And when I was 33, now things like this has happened. This is a very specific one. When I was 33-ish, I believe, uh, I was with the bank, and we were getting our house. I said, well, we've been paying this much. Uh, for what we were doing prior for our rent. And now the mortgage is substantially lower than that. So if we keep paying what we were already conditioned and have been paying, when would we pay our house off? She does some calculations and she gets back to me and she says, anybody want to guess? All the Facebook, Facebook people right now are catching this live. Anybody want to guess? She's 33. Said, I have a million in the bank. Won't owe anybody money when I'm 40. This was totally serendipitous synchronicity. Just simply, maybe coincidence, maybe not. I'm 33, getting a house, we're paying a certain amount of money. If we keep paying this money, which is more than what we owe on a monthly mortgage, when will we pay the house off? Anybody want to guess? She does some calculations. She comes back. She goes, about seven years. And I look to my wife and I'm like, honey. Are you kidding me? Like, I knew this, that I had kind of, I've been telling this story. Now, maybe if I told the story and believed it in three weeks, it would have happened faster. But until you are really, 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 really practiced at this, right? And conditioning yourself to go from maybe pessimistic to optimistic, right? From non-believer to believer of something. It's interesting because those types of things kept popping up, but it took the pressure off. Because it took the pressure off, I have more ease. I have more fun. I have more joy. Plus, I just simply made it possible. Because if we're always starting with impossible, our actions and behaviors will sync up to impossible. Most of us, not everyone, but a lot of us. So I want to take something from impossible to possible. And that for me has just been the simple practice of taking something like that. And I could look, I could look at my past though and go, wow, now I'm 30 now. 
I have so much more wisdom, so much more connection, so much more everything that is it safe to say that what I did from 18 to 30, I could do no better or similar, not make way more and not make way less, but simply make a similar amount over that same course of time. Being the fact that when I was 18, I didn't have any of the talent, expertise, knowledge, or connections or anything I have today. So if I change my behavior and I change my beliefs at the age of 30, even if I didn't earn more, I just simply spend differently, then the probability is very high that I will have the million in the bank and I won't need any money. There's no question about it in my mind at all. And all these things are syncing up to prove to me because I'm looking for it. What are you looking for? Every day, are you looking for things to prove you right or wrong? The likelihood is whatever you believe, you're actually looking for things to prove you right, even if that's something not helping you. And so for me, I've programmed and converted my mind now over time, understanding this and having a self-awareness to slowly but surely create a future that I believe is possible and then take actions every single day that don't put any pressure, undue pressure and stress that I don't personally want. And then I work towards it. It takes away the like needing to know the exact step-by-step -step details day by day because amazing things and people and opportunities pop up that keep you on that path. But you got to believe it's possible and train your brain in that way so that you're looking for those things that go, holy crap, it's going to happen. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's going to happen. Versus when your bias is towards the pessimistic, the negative, why things won't work, why they haven't happened for you, you will find evidence everywhere for that as well. So do you want evidence to prove yourself right of why things won't work, why it won't happen, why it hasn't happened, why you're not good enough, why ba 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 on the negative? Or would you rather look for biases of, yeah, it's going to happen. Yes, it can. Yes, I will. Oh, that did this, connected me to that, right? And so it's a super powerful, super simple practice. And to recap, what we do is, is we simply take something per se, like I just said, money. You can do this with anything, quitting a job, transitioning a job, transitioning your business to different clients. You simply can put a date, three weeks, three months, three years, et cetera, et cetera. And what you want is to end up going, yes, I can do that. Absolutely, no questions asked. If you're saying, could we do this in three weeks and you can't get yourself to just gut answer, absolutely yes, then keep moving on. Could it happen faster than if you're like, wow, wow, it's gonna take five years. Well, the problem is my friend, even if you're like, wow, I want it to happen so much faster. Guess what's gonna happen? Time's gonna pass, five years are gonna pass and you will be nowhere closer and you could start this exercise then and then finally believe it and it still take five more years. Now you're at 10. So if you just start today and put a number that has you go, yes, I could do it, not go, oh my God, that's so far away. Oh gosh, I want to quit my job in the next three weeks. You could. Everything comes with consequences. I have created my life in such a way now where I remove a lot of the pressure, the, eh, the oh my God, that feels horrible. Oh, I can't do that to simple, fun, enjoyable, fulfilling, right? Ease, not easy. There will be challenges right? But simply a life that doesn't have to be so complicated, so difficult, so hard, so frustrating, so irritating. So, so, so I've had versions of that in my life. I've had not versions of that. I went back and now I see the full picture. So I hope this simple tip today helps you in progressing forward and building momentum and building a more resilient, positive, optimistic for your future mindset that helps you not have your ideas die in your hearts, heads, and hard drives. This is your daily jumpstart, Michael Gevin. Appreciate you here. You can go to mindtuneoftimelive.com and register for the Mind Tune of Time sessions I do every Tuesday. Uh, you can go there for more information. They're Tuesday at 2 p.m. on Zoom. And these, my friends, are Monday through Friday, your daily jumpstart. Keep rocking, keep rolling, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.